Hey guys, it's Shakai11 uh, at CIV on Instagram and Twitter. Um, I'm back again with a cooking video, and this is the end result of the teriyaki salmon. And I just have it in a little pot like this. I don't know exactly what they call it, but it comes with the lid, and I usually use it for uh, my roasted chicken, or you can use it for turkey. I have a really big one too. Whatever you want to use it for, it's really good. If you want to fasten the cooking, I usually put foil in between and then put the lid on top to steam it out and hold the heat in and it hastens or speeds up the cooking process. So here's the teriyaki salmon and it has a very nice color to it. As you can see, a nice glaze and, and you know the fish is done because it flakes very easily. The fork, as you can see, it's ready to go. So I won't be plating this for the simple fact that it's like 2 in the morning. I'm a night owl. I do most of my cooking. If I'm watching TV, cooking, cleaning, why not just put something quick in the oven and have it done. So tomorrow when your family comes home from school or work, dinner is readily available. Um, the next thing I cooked is white rice. And my husband's a Jamaican, a Yadi, and he loves his white rice. I've tried to encourage him to eat more brown rice, but he likes his white rice or his rice and peas. So, hey, there it is. Um, what I've noticed that a lot of Japanese and Chinese people eat, their main staple is white rice. A lot of them are not overweight. Like more Americans, we're overweight. And what I noticed is the reason why a lot of them are not overweight is because they wash the starch off of their rice. Um, rice is very starchy. A lot of people frown on it. What you should do is you put your rice in a bowl. You pour the water on the rice. Swish it around with your hand. The water will be milky. You pour that off. You repeat the process until the water is almost translucent. And then you cook your rice. That way you've washed off most of the starch. And it's not sitting on your butt. And the rice is pretty much way less starchy than you would have it if you just cooked it regularly. And with that, I have cooked um, steamed vegetables or mixed vegetables. And that will go along with the dish. Now with the mixed vegetables, what I did was I used the um, Trader Joe's Organic Foursome. And it says a medley of organic, sweet corn, sweet peas, julienne, carrot, and fancy blue lake green beans. Now it's basically your regular mixed vegetables with the exception or the plus that it is organic. Um, this was cheap, probably like $2. So maybe a little less. Sometimes it's worth it for me to buy organic. $2, a dollar, it's not much of a difference. And it's better for the health of your family. And what I did was add a couple of the menage a trois from Trader Joe's as well. And that's the yellow and green and red julienne bell peppers. I like to keep this in the freezer. I find that sometimes when I buy the fresh peppers, sometimes they do go bad before I'm finished using them. So if I buy the menage a trois from Trader Joe's, they're frozen and ready to go. I will throw this in a omelet. Just saute them by, himself, by itself. Cut up an onion in there and just throw some egg whites, maybe cheddar or just egg whites in the omelet. And there you go. It's ready to go. I throw a few in the mixed vegetables to give it a flavor. You can throw this in anything. You can use it for teriyaki. Um, oh my God. Fajitas. Anything like that. So it's good to have them in the freezer on hand. So you just always have them. Alright guys. Tune in. Tune in for the results of the um, Jamaican brown stew chicken. Yes, I'm cooking all of this in one night because my boys don't eat fish. Uh, me and my husband primarily eat fish, so they will have the brown stew chicken. I'm sure my husband will have some on this plate as well, and I'll be eating the salmon, and I may have one or two pieces of chicken, and that's that. Good night.